problems of space and storage once forced the fleet air arm to use biplanes. Then came Blackburn's answer, the skewer. A monoplane with folding wings, undercarriage folding into those wings, with wing flaps as dive brakes. The skewer was something new in the fleet air arm, for she was the Navy's first dive bomber and the first monoplane to be flown from a British aircraft carrier. The skewer has sometimes been used as a fighter. Nowadays, she's a trainer. Meet the skewer then and look her over as she goes into a turn. As she stops for your benefit, see first of all her radial engine. Take a look at the curve up at the wingtips. Unusual, that. Further round, the nose seems long and slim for a radial engine and wing plan here appears to have straight taper. The skewer's wing tips are curved and look almost pointed. And notice more taper to trailing edge than leading edge of wing. Here's another unusual feature, that the fin and rudder is placed well forward of the tailplane. It's almost out of sight here, which only goes to show you've got to keep your eyes skinned. Now let's slow down and study the side view of the skewer with the aid of diagrams. First, the long nose, blunted by a radial engine. Long cockpit of unusual shape, might almost be that saloon car you've laid up for the duration. And the skewer's most outstanding feature, a tall fin and rudder, set well forward. And here's another interesting point, the large anti-spin fairing. Head on, a tricky view of this well-known naval plane. Well, let's have a close-up. Round nose, see how she builds up to that simple silhouette now. Cockpit set high with short, straight center section. That's where the wings fold. Dihedral from there outwards to the turned up wingtips we've already noticed. Tail plane set high and well in view. Not so tricky after all. You remember this view of the skewer in flight? You can still see that curve up to the wingtips. Further round, notice how the nose seems long and slim for a radial engine job, and that unusual cockpit begins to show up. She's got plenty of character, has the skewer. Wings appear to have straight taper, but in fact, there's a short straight center section. Remember? And tips curved, but appear almost pointed from some angles. You can see the rest of that cockpit curving down into the fuselage. And finally, there's the skewer's most outstanding feature. Fin and rudder set well forward. So watch for it. In flight again, you can check the length of nose, the unusual cockpit, and the position of the fin and rudder. She's the fleet air arm skewer. Flying directly overhead, the skewer brings to life the well-known plan view silhouette. So check the shape of wings and tail plane, high up or low down, just as distinct. And that long nose too, There's that tail unit again. It's the skewer, all right. So remember, long nose with radial engine, unusual cockpit, upturned wing tips, and that very distinctive tail, all tell you she's the fleet air arm skewer.